how to create networks in Atlas TI 9 windows. Here you see the code manager. The density for all codes is zero. This means that codes have not yet been linked to each other. You can begin creating a network by selecting codes in the code manager or any other code list. Right click one of the selected codes and select the option Open Network. Another way to add codes or other entities to a network is via drag and drop. A third way is via the Nodes tab. Then click on Add Nodes. You can add items via drag and drop or select multiple items and click Add. All items in a network are called nodes. You can grab each node with the mouse and move it to a different position. To link nodes to each other, select a node and drag the little circle that appears at the top left to another node. Let go of the mouse and select a relation from the list provided. Here you see the standard relations that come with the software, plus a few user-defined relations. You will learn later in the video how you can create your own relations. Next, we show how to link multiple codes at once. You can either draw a frame around the codes you want to link, or you select two or more codes holding down the control key. Next, select the link option from the ribbon. Now multiple lines appear. Move the mouse pointer to the code where these codes should be linked to and select a relation. If none of the existing relations fits the link you want to make, then you can also create a new relation in the process of linking. Enter a name for the new relation, select a color and the relation property. Explaining relation properties is beyond the scope of this video. You will find a link to another video below and in the comment field that explains relation properties and other aspects of networks in more detail. If you want to explain why two codes are related, right-click on a relation and write a comment. Other options are to cut a link or to flip a link. Let's add a few other entity types via the Add Nodes option. If there is an existing direct or indirect link, as here between documents and codes, lines are immediately drawn. Document code connections are displayed via a blue dotted line. The quotation just added is part of document 3, and therefore this link is also shown. Quotation 132 is not linked to anything yet in this network. Quotation 311 is part of document 3, encoded by one of the codes in the network. Other entities you can add are memos, all entity groups, and other networks. Memos can be linked to codes, quotations, and other memos. If you link a quotation to a code in a network, it means that this quotation is now coded with this code. You may have noticed that all the later links that we have created in this network cannot be named. Named links are reserved for code-code links and quotation-quotation links. Double-click on a quotation node and select the option Show in Document. Here you can see the result of connections that were made in the network. Thus, everything you do in a network has an effect on your entire project. And vice versa, everything that you link elsewhere can also be visualized in a network. To remove an entity from a network, right-click and select the Remove from Network option, or click the Delete key on your keyboard. This will only remove, but not delete, an entity. If you link two quotations in a network, you create a hyperlink. Like code code links, this is a named link. When you are done adding entities and linking them, you can apply one of the layout options. Based on a standard layout, you can make some additional manual adjustments. Under the View tab, you find the Snapping tool that helps you adjust the nodes.
To finalize the layout, apply a routing option. You can manage, create, or modify existing code code or hyperlink relations in the Relation Manager. You can, for instance, change the color, width, or appearance of a link. You can switch between code code relations and hyperlinks. Here you see the standard list for hyperlink relations. To indicate, for instance, different strengths of the same relation, you can use the line width for this. In the last part of this video, we would like to show you some common mistakes and how to avoid them. Potentially, you can add all quotations of a code to a network. But networks are not a tool to read quotations. It is time-consuming to extend all quotations, and mostly there is too little room for all quotations in any case. It can be useful to add a few quotations to a network. There is a preview option for this purpose. The aim in this case is to add some illustrative examples instead of reading the quotations. In order to read all quotations linked to a code, simply double-click on the code in any code list and read them conveniently in the quotation reader. Another mistake is to add too many nodes to a network, which for example can easily be done by importing co-occurring codes, as shown here. Atlas TI networks can look beautiful, but remember to create meaningful networks, not works of art. By using global filters, you can set up your networks in a more targeted manner. Start with your research questions and think about what kind of connections might be meaningful, then only import those. This gives you a good starting point to continue building your network further.